Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Toy Chat. This is Max here. With Sing. And today we will be reviewing the Sailor Moon collection of Funko Pop vinyl figures. These are the six figures that are currently available. These are the inbox versions right here. We're going to show you guys them out of box as well. We are missing classic Sailor Moon. We just have the exclusive Hot Topic version. There is one that is the standard one, but she's unavailable. At the time of filming, we're going to show you the back of one of these boxes to show you all available Sailor Moon figures. Okay, this is the back of the Sailor Moon Funko Pop packaging. Um, the back of the box, you know, as with all Funko Pops, it's the same with all of them, minus the character art. So as you can see, yeah, there's Sailor Moon, Mercury, Mars, Jupiter, Sailor Venus. Venus comes with Artemis, Sailor Moon comes with Luna and Tuxedo Mask, and of course the variant Sailor Moon. So right now, um, this current collection only has the inner Senshi. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, the outer Sailor Senshi, like uh, Uranus, Neptune, Saturn, all of them, uh, it's rumored that we might eventually get them, but I have no idea. I hope, I hope we eventually do, because I think they would be really awesome in pop form. I'm really crossing my fingers for a Chibi Moon as well. So here we have Sailor Moon. Usagi herself, she comes with her, so again, this is the Hot Topic exclusive version of Sailor Moon. So she comes with her moon stick, which has the Silver Imperium Crystal on it. And uh, this is the first transformation of Sailor Moon from season one. So she has her initial moon compact. Um, Overall, you know, she's probably my favorite one. Um, she has really cute, detailed little moon earrings. Her outfit is adorable. I love her hair, and what's cool about her is her little Odango hair. Um, she can actually um, stand on her own. She also come, comes with um, Luna, and this is a special Luna from the first episode with the band-aid covering her crescent moon. Star. Yeah. It's super cute, it's very adorable. Although all y'all Sailor Moon fans will know that that timeline doesn't match up because she did not have the moon stick yet while the band-aid was over Luna's crescent moon. But it's super cute, it's a really nice little variant. Um, again, the only difference between um, this Hot Topic exclusive version of Sailor Moon and her standard version is the fact that, um, yeah, she's just in her different standard stance and Luna does not have the Band-Aid. I'll give you a little closer look at her, her buns, tiara. She is adorable. So, we're on to Amy, Sailor Mercury. She's adorable. She's, yeah, actually, you know what, if there was a contender for favorite or second favorite, um, it might be Mercury, um, almost exclusively because I love that, you know, they had her kind of in the middle of her attack, like she's in the middle of doing a bubble spray. Um, I kind of wish they'd done that with all of them. That would have been really cute. Um, but yeah, it's primarily just Mercury who's got that little extra detail. I think she's more based off of the new Mercury from Crystal. I think because originally her hair is a bit more blue. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but her hair is a bit more turquoise than the rest mm -hmm. of her outfit. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't remember her having that greenish hair in the original show. Yeah, I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure in the original show it was a very, very deep blue. This version is definitely, it's a little more turquoise. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's, you know, it's standard Mercury. She's got her earrings. It would have also been cool if they gave her, um, you know, her little computer, her little visor that she always used while battling. But yeah, she is, she is awesome. And as you can see, um, what's really cool about her little bubble, um, it's kind of, it's a tiny bit luminescent. You know, it, it shimmers a little bit. It has almost like a marble look to it, which is awesome. All right, and now we have Sailor Mars, Miss Ray. She is probably my least favorite of this collection. Um, and it's mainly just because the way they did her bangs, um, 
it just gives her this kind of funky, choppy look to her hair that isn't entirely my favorite, but it's cool that she's in, you know, her standard attack pose. What would have been even better is if they had like a little fire coming out of there, but other than that, as with the rest of them, she comes with a stand. I like her shoes, they're kind of heels. Mm -hmm. Thank you, they included that. Yeah, she's, um, let's see what has got with her heels. Yeah, she's very cute. I mean, yeah, her bangs are a little bit, um, I feel inaccurate to the show. I mean, you know, they did the best they could, but mm -hmm. yeah, she's, she's, she's cute. And she's got also, uh, I'm not sure how well you can tell, but yeah, she has her little star earrings right there. I appreciate the detail they put in the earrings. All right, and now we've got Sailor Jupiter. Again, she's got the standard look from season one. It's got her little pink ribbon, her tiara, her little spin, so you can see. Her pigtail. Nice little ponytail. Um, she has a lot of details on her, which I like. Mm -hmm. She has her headband, mm -hmm. um, as well as detailing on her boots, um, which I know takes extra time for her uh, yeah, got for the little to paint. Lace really there. Nice. Very cool. Um, you know, one thing about her, she is actually definitely one of the most detailed of the collection. The only thing that I was a little bit sad about is I was very much looking forward to her nice rose earrings. Um, but, you know, I don't know how well you can see, but they didn't really make the earrings that accurate because she is actually supposed to have like, um, you know, like those really nice crimson red rose earrings and they kind of just made it like a pale pink. They may use the same pink for her outfit as, yeah. as for her earrings. Yeah, most likely. Yeah. She's awesome. Yeah, I like her pose. Yeah, very nice pose too. She looks appropriately like the tough one. And now we have Sailor Venus. Sailor V, the first sailor soldier, technically. So she is very cool. They did something um, kind of similar with her that they did with Mars, where she has kind of the side swept uh, bangs. I like what they did with her better though, because like I said, they're a little more swept to the side, which is accurate of the show. And of course, she has her trademark big red ribbon, which I really like. She's got her light orange heels and one of the coolest things about her for sure is that she comes with an incredibly adorable little artemis figure uh and he is precious he's like worth you know the price alone super cute they look adorable together last but not least we have textile mask i think he's very detailed he's actually pretty heavy i yeah. think his top hat is actually filled so um, he does stand on his own, so he does not come with a stand. He mm -hmm. has his trademark uh, single rose. Yeah, he's holding a rose. He has his cape, which is red in the front. Of course, jet black in the back. And yeah, as Sang mentioned, um, his, his hat makes him pretty top heavy. Um, but yeah, he is the one male member of the collection. He doesn't come with a stand. He um, stands on his own, yeah, pretty well. Um, he's got the little gold buttons. Uh, he's pretty awesome. I appreciate that they added him to this collection. So once again, these are all the available ones right now. Hot Topic has them for twelve fifty US yes. dollars. Um, mm -hmm. The cool thing is, keep this in mind that they're all twelve fifty. So technically. Sailor Moon and Sailor Venus, you get an extra bang for the buck because you do get the little um, extra figures. Yeah, Sailor Artemis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So supposedly these are starting to pop up at Barnes and Noble as well. Uh, we personally have not found them at Barnes and Noble yet, but yeah. So right now the Hot Topic seems to be um, the only place they're being spotted. Yeah, Sailor Moon is an exclusive to Hot Topic, so you won't find 
this particular Sailor Moon anywhere else. Yeah, as a whole, I think it's a super adorable collection. I'm so glad they finally did this. I know it was rumored for a really long time, uh, and they f clearly finally pulled the trigger. Uh, again, I'm really hoping that there will be a wave two that will include the Outer Senshi and maybe, you know, Chibi Moon or even some villains would be amazing. I'm a huge, huge Sailor Moon fan. So I am hoping that this isn't the last we see of this series in Funko Pop form. So to really briefly just show you guys, each of the female characters comes with a stand. It's just like a thin plastic sphere with a little peg in the center. So be careful when you unbox yeah. them not to throw those away. Yeah, they come in, um, they come actually, it's weird how they're packaged. They come in a separate little baggie in the box. So be very careful, yeah, like Sang said, when you're opening it. They have little holes on the bottom of their right shoe. Pop it in, twist them on. And what I will say, some of them stay a little better than others. Um, Jupiter and uh, Mars in particular don't always tend to want to stay on their stands. Yeah, but it really depends on the ones you get because obviously mm -hmm. each plastic is different. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Let us know if there are any other uh, Funko Pop vinyls or different types of toys that you'd like us to review, and we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.